Hello everyone. So this is the third part of my lecture series in volume of solid of revolution. So in my previous two videos, I showed you how to find the volume of a solid whenever you take an element that is perpendicular to the axis of revolution. And when the element chosen is touching the axis of revolution, we use the this method. And whenever the element chosen is not touching the axis of revolution, or the axis of revolution is no longer one of the boundaries, then we use the ring or the washer method. So we shall now take the case where the element chosen is parallel to the axis of revolution. And in this case, we will be using the shell method or the cylindrical shell method. Okay. So when the element of the region is revolved about a certain axis of revolution, and then a cylindrical shell is generated. So by definition, a cylindrical shell is a solid contained between two cylinders with similar axis and similar uh, center. <clears throat> okay, so let's take the case uh, when the region is bounded by a continuous function f of x on the closed interval a, b. And then we can choose a representative cylinder of this form. Okay, so you take note that from this figure, the, the region is bounded, bounded by the curve y equals f of x. And this line L happened to be our axis of revolution. So, and between two vertical lines, x equals a, x equals b. So the entire solid can be uh, divided into infinitely many cylinders. We have the first cylinder, the second cylinder, the third, and so on and so forth until we reach the nth cylinder. So the idea again is to get a representative cylinder of this form. So we can now uh, define the volume to be the product of the circumference of the base, that's 2 pi r, the height, that's h, and the thickness, delta r, or that's equal to dr. So the volume is now given by 2 pi r h delta r. And again, since the entire region can be divided into infinitely many cylinders, then we can write this volume as 2 pi r1 h1 delta 1 r plus 2 times pi r sub 2 h sub 2 delta sub 2 r running until you reach the nth element. And again, by writing this in summation notation, uh, we can rewrite this Raymond sum of the form summation of 2 pi r sub i h sub i delta sub i r where i runs from 1 to n. And again, the, the idea is that when we take a very small norm delta r approaching zero, and then we can uh, use infinitely many cylinders as uh, n approaching infinity. So we can write it in, in, in this form. The volume is now equal to the limit of the summation of 2 pi, r, uh, uh, 2 pi times uh, r sub i, h sub i times delta sub i r, where i runs from 1 to n. And as delta r approaches 0 or as n approaches infinity. And writing this in integration notation, we now have the volume is equal to 2 pi times the integral of r h dr evaluated from a to b. Where dr is taken whether that's dx or dy. If you take an element vertical, then dr is dx. And if you take element that is horizontal, dr is dy. Okay? So when, bo when both the rectangular element chosen and the axis of revolution are vertical and the region is bounded by the curve f of x and g of x, and between two vertical lines, x equals a and x equals b, where a is less than b, then the volume is given by v equals 2 pi times the integral of r h dx evaluated from a to b, where h is equal to f of x minus g of x or y upper minus y lower. That's equation of the curve above the region minus equation of the curve below the region. And r is equal to x if the axis of revolution is the y-axis. And similarly, when both the rectangular element chosen and the axis of revolution are horizontal and the region is bounded by two curves f of y and g of y and between two horizontal lines <clears throat> y equals c and y equals d where c is less than d, then the volume will now become b equals 2 pi times the integral of r h dy evaluated from c to d where h is equal to x right minus x left or equation of the curve on the right side of the region minus equation of the curve on the left side of the region and r is equal to y if the axis of revolution is the x-axis. Okay, so we shall now consider this problem. So we will be using cylindrical shell method 
to find the volume of the solid generated when the region bounded by y equals 3x minus x squared and y equals x is revolved about the y-axis. And uh, we first get the points of intersection and we define y equals 3x minus x squared is a parabola opening downward with vertex at uh, 3 halves 9 fourth and passing through the point 0, 0 and 3, 0. So the curve y equals 3x minus x squared is a parabola opening downward okay, with vertex at 3 halves 9 fourth and the x-intercepts 0, 0 and 3, 0. So we now get the points of intersection. So at what points where do where, where these two graphs will pass through? So what are we going to do is by equating by, by equating the two equations. So we'll replace y by x. So we now have x equals 3x minus x squared. And simplifying, we get x equals 0. So when x is 0, obviously y equals 0. So we have 0, 0. And when x equals 2, so obviously y is equal to 2. And then we have 2, 2. So the points of intersections are 0, 0, and 2, 2. <clears throat> so we now set these points. So this is your y-axis. That's the, the line x equals 0. The x-axis, the line y equals 0. And then we have here the point 0, 0. And then somewhere here is the point 2, 2. And then we draw the parabola y equals 3x minus x squared. Okay, it passes through the point 0, 0 on the x-axis and 3, 0. Uh, and the vertex of the parabola is 3 halves 9 fourth. And then we draw the line y equals x. Okay. So the region now is bounded by this line and the parabola downward y equals 3x minus x squared. And we now draw a y axis of revolution. So this region is uh, revolved about the y axis. So since the axis of revolution is vertical, so we shall now take the case where the element chosen is vertical. Okay, and then we now draw the components. So the distance from the <clears throat> uh, axis of revolution to the element is r, and then the height of this uh, element is denoted by h, and then the thickness is dx. Okay. So we now have when the region is revolved over, when this region is revolved over this line, then we can generate the solid. Okay, and then similarly again, the components are, this is your R. So since the axis of revolution is the y-axis, so we let R equals X. And then the height of this element is Y upper minus Y lower. That's equation of the curve above the region. So the element is touched by 3X minus X squared above and touched by Y equals X below. So we have y equals 3x minus x squared minus x. And simplifying, we get 2x minus x squared. Okay, so we now plug it here. So we have 2 pi integral of r is equal to x. So we write x here. And then h is denoted by 2x minus x squared. So we write 2x minus x squared and then dx. And then the, the limit is evaluated from 0. So since this is the leftmost portion of the region, and then the rightmost portion is 2. So we get 0, 2, 2. So simplifying, we have <clears throat> 2 pi integral of 2x squared minus x cubed dx. We just introduce x each term inside the parentheses. So you have x times 2x and x times x squared. So you have 2x squared minus x cubed dx evaluated from 0 to 2. And then we evaluate the integrand. So we have 2x squared dx is 2x cubed over 3, and then the, the integral of x cubed dx is 1 fourth x cubed. So we have 2 pi <clears throat> times the quantity 2x cubed over 3 minus 1 fourth x to the 4 evaluated from 0 to 1. And then we now replace x by the upper limit 2 and then by the lower limit 0. So we have this 2 pi times 2 over 3 times 2 raised to the third power minus 1 fourth, 2 times 2, 2 to the fourth power, sorry, minus 2, ta, 2 third times 0 to the third power minus 1 fourth times 0 to the, fourth, to the fourth power. And we all know that this term is equal to 0. So the only thing left is to simplify this part. So we have 2 pi, 2 cubed is 8 times 2, that's 16. So we have 16 over 3. Then 2, the, 2 to the 4 is 16 uh, divided by 4. So we have 4, okay, and then the rest is 0. So finally, we have 16 over 3 minus 4. That's 4 thirds, okay? 
and multiplied by 2 pi, so the volume is equal to 8 pi uh, over 3 cubic units. Okay, so we shall now take the case wherein the axis of revolution is no longer the y-axis. So we will, <clears throat> again, resolve this problem and revolve the region about the line x equals 2. Okay, so what are we going to do when the axis of revolution is no longer the uh, x, uh, the y axis, okay? So when this region is revolved over this line, we can generate this solid, and then we now draw our error components. So the height of the element is denoted by h, and then the distance from the element to the axis of revolution is r, and then the thickness is denoted again by dx since we take element that is vertical. So the problem now is how do we write the equation of our r? So we have to take note that the distance of this element to the y-axis is x and the distance of the axis of revolution x equals 2 to the y-axis is 2. Since x equals 2 is 2 units away from the y-axis. So we notice that uh, x plus r is equal to 2. So we have 2 equals x plus r, and we can now write r as 2 minus x. And again, similarly, h is equal to 3x minus x squared minus x. That's y upper, that's 3x minus x squared, minus y lower, that's y equals x. So finally, we have h equals 2x minus x squared. And then we write it uh, in the integral formula. So that's 2 pi, r is 2 minus x, and then times h, that is 2x minus x squared dx. And the limit is evaluated again from, this is the leftmost portion of the region, and this is the rightmost portion of the region. So the limit is evaluated from 0 to 2. So we now simplify the integrand. So we have 4x minus x squared plus x cubed dx, and then evaluated from 0 to 2 then multiplied by 2 pi. So integrating, you have 2x squared minus 4 third x cubed plus 1 fourth x to the 4 by applying the power formula, evaluated from 0 to 2. And then replacing x by 2, we finally have this, okay? And then we notice that since x is equal to 0, then this whole term is equal to 0. And then the only thing left is to simplify this part. So finally, we have 2 pi. So 2 squared is 4 times 2, that's 8. Then 2 cubed is 8 times 4, that's 32 over 3. Then 2 to the 4 again is 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4. So simplifying further, you have 2 pi times 4 third and the volume is equal to 8 pi over 3 cubic units. So that's it 